Direct carbon fuel cell DCFC is a fuel cell that uses carbon rich material as a fuel. The element produces energy by combining carbon and oxygen, which causes carbon dioxide to release as a byproduct. The efficiency of this fuel cell is about 70%, twice as efficient as in conventional combustion reaction. In general, the reaction in the element is the following C plus O2 turn into CO2. The process in the element's half is expressed as follows. Anode, C plus 2O2 turn into CO2 plus 4 energies. Cathode, O2 plus 4 energies turn into 2O2. Despite the fact that carbon dioxide is emitted, direct carbon fuel cells are more ecological than traditional coal burning methods. Due to its high efficiency, this technology requires less carbon to produce the same amount of energy. The carbon used may be coal, coke, or non fossil sources of carbon. The carbon atoms are highly charged, so the current density at the anode has doubled in comparison with the molecules of hydrogen, adding some useful energy to the weight. There are four types of DCFC. The first one is based on the solid oxide fuel cells, COFC. The second one is a cell with a molten hydroxide made in accordance with a patent that William W. Jacques received in the US in 1896. The third is based on molten carbonates, MCFC. William W. Jacques received a Canadian patent for this type of fuel cells in 1897. The fourth uses an anode of molten tin in a solid oxide fuel cell design, which uses molten tin and tin oxide. During the oxidation, carbon dissolves in the anode, reducing the oxygen content in the solid oxide cathode. While operating, our fuel cell potential is from 0.2 to 1.5 volts. DCFC is a type of energy sources of the future, but you can already start experimenting with them.